What is up Capricorn? Welcome to your general timeless reading. These are timeless, so whenever you see this is when it's most meant for you. These are also general, so take what resonates, leave the rest, don't force it to fit. If you want a personal reading or a Reiki session, please go ahead and book it down below through my website in the description box. I am a master Reiki practitioner, so go ahead and check out my Reiki sessions as well. I don't know if I even said that. Um, but yeah, check out Patreon. I'm giving away free 15 minute readings for anyone who joins as a tier three patron. That's where I do the monthly readings, energy shift readings, moon cycle readings, and weekly Patreon only videos. So check that platform out if you want help on your spiritual path. I do a lot of mentoring there um, and I share a lot of my personal experiences as well. Um, I'm also going to be creating a vlog channel, so be on the lookout for that. Like, share, subscribe, give this video a thumbs up. It helps the channel grow and I greatly appreciate it. Hit that notification bell as well so you can see when I post and when I go live. Let's get into it, Cappy. Let's see what we got going on for you. Let's use um, Radiant Wise Tarot for you, Capricorn. Tell me what I most need to see for Capricorn. Show me what I most need to see for Capricorn, please, Spirit. You show me an owl. Which makes a lot of sense. Capricorn, you to me as a reader, I feel like Capricorn is like the wisest. I feel like Capricorn's like the wise one of the zodiac. It's the oldest of the earth signs. I just I feel like Capricorn is just the wise one. And I feel owls represent wisdom. Show me what I most need to see for Capricorn. I almost said the wise one. <laughs> Show me what I need to see for Capricorn. Okay, I feel like people are going to be like almost like flocking to you for advice. Yep, Three of Cups. Three of Cups is like a coming together energy. It's uh, it's almost like a rejoicing. Like, it can be reconciliation, but I feel like this is like a flocking to you. Like I said, coming to you for advice. The sun in reverse. Yeah, so I feel like these are the energies that are coming toward you. Hey, hey, I'm not feeling myself. I'm feeling suppressed, depressed with the sun in reverse. I'm seeking clarity. I'm seeking enlightenment. I'm coming to you to help me achieve that sense of happiness, that sense of uh, a higher frequency, right? Sorry, I have an eyelash that's like... Stuck in my eye. It's where it's supposed to be, Jordan. Show me what. This is good. King of Swords, Ace of Swords in reverse, and the Ace of Wands. Okay. I can't, uh, okay, so Capricorn, this is your energy. King of Swords is Aquarius energy. The Ace of Swords is air energy. And the Ace of Wands is fire energy. I feel like this is your response to these approaches. Almost like, I understand why you're approaching me on a technical level. I don't understand why you're approaching me in general. <laughs> like, like, what's the, wait, so why are you asking me for advice again? Like, I understand that you're asking me for advice, but why are you asking me for advice? <laughs> That's kind of the thing. This is actually pushing you into a new, it's kind of pushing you into a new direction for your purpose. So these people that are flocking to you, it's, it's, it's pushing you in the direction that you're actually supposed to be going. And I don't think you see that yet. There's a lack of clarity. It's kind of like you understand it on a surface level. You're not understanding the greater picture of it. The reason that these people are coming toward you. I actually want to get another on this energy over here. Temperance. Yeah, for healing. For healing. For balance. They're coming to you to help them. To assist them. Bottom, yeah, because it's your soul's call. Like I said, because it's part of your purpose. It's judgment. <laughs> I'm just laughing because I just, I, I just love I just love channeling. I do. I love it. I think it's so funny. I think it's funny to just hear and see things in your head and then just have like a deck of cards. It's like, yeah, that's exactly what's happening. <laughs> I think it's the weirdest thing. Three years later and it still doesn't shock. Well, it still shocks me. I said that completely backwards. Um, <laughs> it's so funny. Um, with judgment, judgment is the soul's call. Judgment is your purpose. To me as a reader, 
and to channel our judgment is your angels, your ancestors, your guides, right? It's this, it's this force within you that's like pushing you in this direction of, I know I'm supposed to be helping these people, but what the fuck am I supposed to be doing? It's kind of this confusion of, okay, I'm supposed to be doing this. Just roll up your sleeves and do it. It's kind of like the vlog that I'm talking about. I'm going to be honest. I don't know what the fuck I'm supposed to be doing with it, but for months now, I know that I'm supposed to be doing this vlog. And it's partially because I started traveling and it's partially because I'm going to zero waste. You know what I'm saying? Like, I know that as long as I get the ball rolling in that direction, it's going to unfold. I'm a Capricorn rising. Welcome to Capricorn. If you're 27 or 54 or in that age range, plus or minus three years, you're, and you have a Saturn placement in Aquarius, you're probably going through a Saturn return. This is definitely going to resonate most likely, most likely, just most likely especially for Capricorn Risings, because um, Capricorn right now is really getting their shit rocked. Um, we've had a lot of transits through Capricorn and through Aquarius that's been ping-ponging those energies back and forth between Pluto and Saturn and Uranus in those signs. Um, and those three planets are death, transformation, constriction, the master maker pushing you outside of your comfort zone, and Uranus is creating those tower moments and sudden change. So it's going to put you into new modes of action. It's going to force you to have old versions of yourself fall away. It's going to put you in situations that force you to accept new relationships, new jobs, new ways of thinking, new ways of communicating and articulating yourself, right? And some of the times you're just going to have to surrender and say, okay, well, I know it's something to do with this and I might not know the exact form of it right now, but I got to start taking action in that direction, right? You got to start taking small steps and eventually in time, it's going to unravel and you're going to be like, oh, I get it. <laughs> okay. So, so just start playing around. Just, just have fun with it. It's an experience and that experience is going to pay off in very big ways for you if you just indulge in it, indulge in it. Okay indulging it. So let's see what these people want. Let's, let's see what this is all about. Okay. Let's check it out. Cub Scout. Um, who do I want to, let's use spellcasters actually. Spellcasters is a very Capricorn energy to me for some reason. It really is. And sometimes shh, chair, I'm talking. Stop squeaking. Thank you. Sometimes I really don't feel spellcasters that much, but I really do. Okay, sun. The sun just wanted to come out. Just so you know, I just want to say hello. I'm here. Just want to let you see me. I gotta get another one of these decks. I really made it a bit flimsy. Hi, little puppy. Hi, puppy. Why are you so cute? She's like, let me sleep, damn it. <laughs> okay. Okay, right, let's um let's check out judgment. I literally heard the soul's call. The soul's call. Over and over. You had a big old stack big oh stack I really don't want to take all this no I'm not doing all that I'm not doing all that two to three cards for judgment please spirit <laughs> said no <laughs> said no it's probably gonna be four to five honestly you're probably gonna have a longer reading because you have a lot of divinity, you have temperance, the sun, judgment. Yeah, you got three. Okay, so you have the hangman in reverse, the three of cups again, and justice. You have a lot of divinity. You have temperance, the sun, judgment, the hangman, and justice. You already have five major arcana cards. Major arcana cards are universal energy. It's things that are outside of our control, things that are not day-to-day -day activities. The three of cups, king of swords, ace of wands, those are, well, ace of, aces are cyclic energy and king of swords is a court card. They represent people. Three of cups, four of cups, four of pentacles, like the twos through tens. Those are day-to-day -day activities, okay? But aces, tens, 
cyclic energies, right? Cycles, closing outs, beginnings, endings, court cards represent individuals, actions, communication, things of that nature, right? So just quick little tarot rundown. But you, you have a lot of divinity and that tells me that it's major life changes, major circumstances that are shifting. And that means that you're shifting in consciousness, shifting in behavior, shifting in relationships, and maybe even your physical reality, the physical home, your work, your, your form of income, okay? And with the hangman in reverse, it tells me that you're moving out of an energy of stagnancy or feeling stuck, seeing things very differently, and energy is about to start picking up, okay? Because judgment's also about choices and decisions, so there's about to be a pivot. With a Three of Cups, it's also speaking to Soul Tribe. New relationships coming in or reignited relationships, right? Coming together with people that are old relationships being healed, foundations being rebuilt, especially with justice attached to it. This speaks to contracts being repaired, okay? So if you've been having difficulty with within your family or within your romantic life or just your friendships or within your job with coworkers, things of anything, right? Any kind of relationship. Those kinds of contracts are being fixed and repaired and a balance is being found. This could even just be you finding a true soul family that resonates with you. People and um, connections that are going to help you on your path, okay? but. With the hangman in reverse, it tells me that, yeah, you are not going to be sitting still anymore. You're not going to feel stagnant anymore. So let's look at the Three of Cups now for Capricorn and Police Spirit. Let's look at the Three of Cups. Chariot. Like I said, you're going to have a lot of divinity. There's another major arcana and you're not going to be sitting still. Time to go. Time to go. Get you moving. Go out the front door. Go do some. The chariot speaks to very fast forward momentum. It also speaks to moving in the direction of your soul. In this particular deck, it has a freaking lotus in the back of it, right? Your soul's purpose, your path, a rebirth, regeneration, coming back to life. Okay? I love it. I love it, I love it, I love it. I want some more of it. It's cancer energy. Very nurturing, feminine energy. Very loving, very receptive energy. Which is why I say don't hold too much attachment to the form that this is going to take. Because with cancer energy in the chariot, it's a need to be very feminine and receptive to allowing this to unfold in the way that it most needs to. Let's look at the sun in reverse because this actually is masculine energy. The sun, it's Leo energy. It's divine masculine energy. And reverse tells me that you might have distorted masculine energy. Yeah, two of swords in reverse. <laughs> I don't know which way to go. Because you, you, there's an attachment. There's a sense of control. There's a confusion. Allow, allow yourself to flow. Allow yourself to flow. You need some water energy up in here. Yeah, six of pentacles. There's a need for balance. There's a need for balance. I'll take this one on the bottom. Yeah, five of wands in reverse. Release the need to compete or to meet expectations, or to hold yourself to a caliber, an expectation, basically. Same thing, Jordan, right? Okay, with the Five of Wands in reverse, it's the need to let go of that sense of competition with self or with other people, right? Let it go, just be receptive. The Six of Pentacles is the card of giving and receiving. It's putting that energy out to the universe that I'm prosperous, I'm successful. Everything that's meant for me is gonna flow to me with ease. I'm always aligned with my soul's path. I'm always abundant. I'm always happy. I'm always peace. I'm always love. I'm always attracting. Always. Affirm with always, right? I'm always exactly what and where I'm supposed to be. Everything is always unfolding in divine right time. I'm always rich. I'm always wealthy. I'm always giving and receiving love with grace and gratitude, right? I'm always grateful for everything in my life. And I'm always receiving more and more every second of every day. And I'm always giving more and more to the people around me, right? Because that energy of giving and receiving, like giving when you feel as if you do not have anything to give, that energy of like, I I'm going to give to you because I know more is going to come to me. That feeling of, I don't have a lack mentality. Like even if I have no money left in my wallet after I give you this money, I'm not worried about it because I know I'm always provided for. That mentality is going to help manifest more and more energy to you, 
more and more money to you, more and more love to you, all those amazing things, right? Um, Jen Sincero, uh, you're a badass at making money. We'll help you overcome a scarcity mindset if you're struggling with uh, financial insecurity, things of that nature. Really good book. Let's look at temperance. But these are the insecurities that these people are coming to you with. Yep, uh, Knight of Cups and the Page of Wands. Yeah, and then the Knight of Wands. Knights, 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 court cards, court cards, court cards. Okay, so with temperance, this is you kind of like, look at me go, oh my god, then you have the ace of freaking cups, and then the two of wands, yeah, this is like, oh, my path? You're kind of scared of it though, right, with the seven of swords underneath that, and then the knight of swords, it's kind of like, I'm scared, nah, F it, I'm gonna do it, six of wands, victory, right, you're gonna do it anyway, you're gonna do it anyway, which is really good. Damn right, Capricorn. Do the damn thing. There's a need to be patient with it, though, because you get a little tenacious. You you really want to go after it. You really want to go, okay, these people are coming to me. They're asking me to start answering their questions or coming to me for advice or asking me to help with X, Y, Z, or people are coming to you with business ideas or um, just opportunities in general, right? And you're kind of like, okay, I hear you. I'm kind of interested in it. You're piquing my interest. Okay, I want to do the damn thing because my soul and my heart are all for it. And then you get into this place where emotionally you're invested. You see the path of opportunity, but now you're second guessing it. Seven of Swords. And then you get to this place of Seven of Swords, self deception, self sabotage because you start over analyzing it. And then you logically think about it and you're like, actually, emotionally, soul wise, I'm on the same page. I just need to get my head there because your head's just sitting in the fear. And you recognize that. Don't fall into the fear. Just allow yourself to have fun. So let's, let's look at this King of Swords because that's where the Ace of Swords in reverse is. Yeah, so there's the Wounded Warrior. I don't want to do it yet. I don't want to do it yet because I'm scared of failure, right? Hermit in reverse, Four of Swords, Tower in reverse, King of Swords, Tempest in reverse, and the Seven of Cups. Everything I just said, right? So you ghost, right? Hermit in reverse when these people show up. I need some time away. I need to figure out if I'm really ready to allow my old version of self to fall away so I can embark on this new version of self and on this new adventure, on this two of wands, this new path, right? And embody a true king of swords energy that I want to be. But that means that I have to really see the things that I need to heal or the things that I need to balance within myself. And in turn, those are the, those are the lessons, the wisdom that you would be passing on to these other individuals. I really don't have anything to say after that. I was gonna say something, but it's it's just really not necessary, so. Let's look at the Ace of Swords. <clears throat> Clarify by the Ace of Swords in reverse, so perfect, yeah. That's, that's actually perfect, because it's validation for me as a reader that everything I have said suffices, and it's also validation for me as a reader that the channel message is correct. Page, wow. <laughs> Page of Pentacles. And the Knight of Pentacles. Look at you just pentacling up. That's a word. I made it up. So it's a word. <laughs> so stupid. Um, <laughs> Page of Pentacles is you creating that new foundation. You're a student. You're starting to lay the small foundations that you need and you're taking the logical methodical steps that are going to put you in place for success. Because the Knight of Pentacles is the slowest moving knight, but that's why you have this lack of clarity. It's kind of like, okay, well, what steps do I need to take? Because now you're trying to be the King of Pentacles. You're trying to create what you want to create in your physical reality. Reality. And then we have the Emperor, yeah. You're balancing out your masculine energy now because he had some distorted masculine energy over here. Let's look at the Ace of Wands. Four of Wands in reverse, so that's a delay. I just heard contingencies, yeah, strength in reverse. So we have to overcome these insecurities. That's why it's delayed. Magician and the Hierophant, yeah. The lesson is to learn your personal power. The lesson is to learn your personal power and what you're capable of creating as an individual. Very, very nice. And that's when you achieve your hope and wish fulfillment. Not a freaking cups. Bootiferous. You have the Magician, the Hierophant, Judgment, Justice, Hangman, Tower, Temperance, um, the Hermit, the Sun, the Chariot, 
Temperance again. You have 11 major arcana on the board. That's a lot of majors. There's only 22. And I don't even care if they repeated. You know, that's just a lot of major arcana. Like, holy moly. But Capricorn, this is what I have for you. If you want a personal reading or Reiki session, book it down below through my website. If you want a free 15-minute reading, check out my Patreon channel. That's definitely the platform for you if you want help on your spiritual path. And like, share, subscribe. Give this video a thumbs up. It helps the channel grow, and I greatly appreciate it. And check me out on the lives. Hit that notification bell so you can see when I post, when I go live. I'd love to chit-chat and answer your questions. And be on the lookout for that vlog. You know, that's my little... Whatever floats my boat, just going with the flow, following my judgment call. Okay? I love you. I wish you the best, and I'm excited for you, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.